Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak everyone. This Ramadan, insha'Allah, I will be posting lots of videos to help you get the most out of this great month. Today's topic is about how we start the month of Ramadan and the many opportunities we have to get lots and lots of rewards by doing many good deeds. Did you know that the month of Ramadan begins when we first sight the new moon of Ramadan? and ends when we sight the new moon of Shawwal. A month in Islam can be 29 or 30 days long. Sometimes, before a new moon begins, the clouds in the sky may be covering the moon or it may be raining, which makes it difficult to spot the moon. In this case, we finish the month as 30 days and start the new moon on the next day. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us that Ramadan, like all the months in the Islamic calendar, begin when we first spot the crescent moon. So what does a crescent moon look like? Well, a crescent moon looks like a thin banana. When we look up at the sky and see that there is a crescent moon in the night sky, then we know that it is the start of a new moon. The month of Ramadan is the best month of the year. Our good actions are multiplied. That means we should be doing lots of extra good deeds during Ramadan. So children, are you ready to get the most out of this Ramadan? Great! Now remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. I'll see you in the next reminder, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum. Tuesday, it's Ramadan. Welcome, oh month of mercy. The month of mercy. Where have you been, Ramadan? We've waited for you such a long time. We missed you so. Where have you been? So Please do come in. Come in. And stay for good. Everything's so nice, everything's so when you're around me. We've waited long and long. My iman is weak. Please help me to help me to pray through the night and fast the days to feed the poor. Who's there? It's Ramadan. Welcome, oh month of mercy. You are the month of mercy. Have you been Ramadan? Where have you been? Waited for you such a long time. The time is here to really strive, strive and be the best. Be the best that I can. Go to the mosque. Go to every single day. Strive and every night, night. Inshallah. Best, best to please Allah, please and read Quran, read Quran as best I can. Knock, knock, look who's here. Ramadan is here again. Ramadan, our favorite month. Ramadan, we miss you here. Knock, knock, look who's here. The month that's known as the mercy, the month that makes me so happy. Welcome, oh month of Ramadan. We missed you so we Where have you been so Please do come in come in come in and stay for good stay for Everything's so nice when you're around We've waited long and long My man is weak Please help me to Pray through the night nights and fast the days to feed the poor
it's Ramadan. Ramadan is coming, Muhammad. Zach is little reminders. Assalamu alaikum, children. Today, we are going to learn about two phrases to say that are very short, easy to say, huge in reward, and Allah loves them. They are Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al -Azim. And because they only take about three seconds to say, you can say them almost any time you want to, whether you are taking a walk, driving in the car, at school, or even while riding your bike. Now let's learn how to say them together. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, great. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah al -Azim. Subhanallah al -Azim. Again. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah al -Azim. Subhanallah al -Azim. Well done. We just filled our scales of good deeds with so many hasanat and insha'Allah earned Allah's love with such little effort. Allah is so generous. That is little reminders. Now you can go off and say them as many times as you wish all by yourself. You can even teach them to others to get even more rewards. Till the next reminder. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, children. Today we are going to learn about Surah Al Fatiha. This surah is so amazing that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us it is the greatest surah in the Quran. We recite this surah in every rak'ah of our prayers. Al-Fatiha is also known as the mother of the Qur'an because it is so special. So let's now learn the wonderful meanings of Surah Al-Fatiha. The Surah starts with Bismillah rahman rahim which means in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Every surah in the Qur'an, except one, start with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ayah 2 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Which means, all praise and all thanks belong to Allah, the Lord of the universe. This also means that Allah is the true master and creator of everything that exists. Ayah 3 Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Which means Allah is Ar-Rahman, the most merciful, and Ar-Rahim, the most kind. Ayah 4 Maliki Yawmiddin Which means the owner and king of the Day of Judgment. The Day of Judgment is also called Yawmuddin and that is the day we stand before Allah and He will ask us about everything that we did and because Allah is the owner and king of that day He will decide who goes to Jannah and who goes to Jahannam. Ayah 5 Iyaka na'budu which means it is only you, O Allah, that we worship and it is only you, O Allah, that we ask for help. Because Allah is the one who is always there, we should only make dua to Him. And what dua should we always make? Well, the answer is in the next ayah, which is ayah 6. Which means, O oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. 
and the straight path is the path of Al-Islam that leads us to Jannah. Ayah 7 Sirat al-Ladina an'amta alayhim The path of those who you have blessed, O Allah غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ alayhim and not the path of those who you are angry with. وَلَضَّالِّينَ and neither the path of those who are lost and confused. In this last ayah of Surah Al-Fatiha, we are asking Allah to make us follow the way of the prophets and the righteous people and to keep us far away from the wrong paths that lead us to hellfire. Now, let's recite Surah Al-Fatiha together. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Ameen. I hope you enjoyed learning the meanings of Surah Al-Fatiha, the greatest surah in the whole Qur'an. Next time you recite this surah, try your best to remember these wonderful words of Allah. And next time, we will learn another amazing surah, insha'Allah. Wassalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum children. Today insha'Allah, we will learn about the importance of having the niyyah, which means intention. During Ramadan, we should make the niyyah to fast. So what is the niyyah? The niyyah is when a person intends to do a good deed before they do it. Having the right intention helps us make sure our deeds are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we are only doing them for His sake. We learn about niya in the famous hadith by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which he said, Indeed, actions are judged by intentions. It is not necessary to say the niya out loud as intention means to intend. This means that you can say it in your mind and from your heart. So making the niyyah can be as simple as saying to yourself inside your head that you will fast tomorrow. So children, be sure to make the intention before you fast or do any good deed. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Assalamu Alaikum children. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a bath. I just love baths. Being clean is half your deen. Taking regular baths and showers helps me stay nice and clean. Cleanliness and hygiene is very important in Islam. Which is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, At-Tuhur Shatrul Iman which means cleanliness is half of our faith. This teaches us that we should always try our best to do the following. Wear clean clothes. This includes wearing clean socks, especially when going to the masjid. Take regular baths and showers. Wash our hands before and after we eat. And it's even better if we use soap. Brush our teeth at least twice a day. Place our rubbish in the bin. Clean our dirty plates 
and cups. And keep our rooms neat and tidy. That includes under the bed. I hope you can remember all those points. They are very important. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved to be clean, so we should too. Time for me to finish my bath. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu Alaikum. Today, insha'Allah, we will discover some great deeds to practice in Ramadan. During Ramadan, there are many things that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did to gain rewards and he taught us how we should be spending Ramadan. Let's talk about five sunnahs that we should try to follow this month, insha'Allah. The first is to wake up for suhoor. This is a meal that we have before Fajr. Having this meal is important as it helps us keep up our energy before a long day of fasting. This meal has many great blessings and we should not miss it. The second sunnah to try and practice this month is to break our fast immediately after sunset, which is Maghrib time, and not to delay it. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the people will continue to be in good condition as long as they are quick to break their fast. A third sunnah is to pray tarawih after the Isha prayer in the masjid with your family and friends. If you are not able to make it to the masjid, then you should pray it at home with your family. Another sunnah to try this month is to feed the poor and hungry. Giving charity to the poor and hungry is a beloved deed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will give us many rewards for doing so. Finally, this month we should try to read a lot of Qur'an. The Qur'an was revealed in Ramadan and this month is also known as the month of the Qur'an. Ramadan is a great time to read and memorize the Qur'an as much as we can. So children, which sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will you do this Ramadan? Why not send me an email and let me know how you're doing? I'd love to hear from you. Till the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu Alaikum. Al-Mutakabbir, the Supreme. Allah is only good and has no bad. Al-Khaliq, the Creator. Allah created absolutely everything, including people, animals, plants, and food. Al-Bari, the Originator. Allah was the first one to make everything. Al-Mutakabbir Al-Khaliq Al-Bari Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Assalamu Alaikum everyone I'm so happy you could join us again As Muslims, we should try our best to follow the great example of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and do everything the way he did. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once said, The best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it to others. So how do we learn the Qur'an and teach it? Here are some steps you can follow. Number one, make the Qur'an a part of your everyday life by reading it at least once a day. Number two, listen to your Qur'an teachers when they teach you about what the Qur'an says. Number three, if you can, write some things down that you have learned from the Qur'an. Number four, 
practice the lessons that the Quran teaches you in your daily life. Number five, share what you have learned with your friends and ask them what they have learned as well. So if you want to learn the Quran and teach it, you have to read, listen, write, practice and share. By remembering these simple lessons, we can follow the example of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu Alaikum children. Today insha'Allah, we are going to discover how Ramadan makes us healthier. Did you know that fasting cleans out our body from all the bad foods we have eaten? This happens because when we fast and not eat for hours, our body gets a break and has a chance to flush out all the bad toxins from it. When we break our fast, we should aim to eat a small healthy meal. This will help us become healthier and stronger and be ready to worship Allah through the nights of Ramadan. It is also important to take your time when eating and not to eat too fast. By eating too fast, you may overeat, which can cause you to get really tired and sometimes even sick. Do you know which healthy fruit Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to break his fast with? Yes, it was dates. This is a sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Not only are dates very healthy and beneficial for us, but they also give us lots of energy so we can stand the nights in prayer. So kids, let's make the most of Ramadan worshipping Allah and eating healthy. Until next time, Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Layth. Wa alaikum assalam, Layla. What are you up to? I'm looking for uh, Ayat al Kursi. I'm sure it's verse number 255 of Surah al Baqarah. Ah, there it is. I'm learning that Surah too. Did you know, Layla, that reciting Ayat al Kursi has so many amazing benefits for us? Yes, I do. Let's remind all our friends watching about some of the benefits of Ayat al-Kursi. Great idea, Laith. If we recite it when going out of our house, Allah has a group of angels that will come with us and protect us. If we recite Ayat al-Kursi before going to sleep, Allah will send an angel to come and look after us and protect us. If we recite Ayat al-Kursi immediately after each prescribed prayer, there will be nothing standing between us and entering paradise except death. If we recite Ayat al-Kursi in our house, then shaitan leaves. If we recite Ayat al-Kursi after every prayer, our dua will be accepted and we will remain in the safety of Almighty Allah and He will protect us. SubhanAllah, so many benefits. We should try our best to recite Ayat al-Kursi during all these times. Now let's learn how to recite Ayat al-Kursi with Layth. Ayat al-Kursi A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum La ta'khuduhu sinatu wa la naum له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء 
We should all try to learn and memorize this great ayah. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Did you know that the Islamic month before Ramadan is called Sha'ban? The word Sha'ban comes from the Arabic word Shorba, which means a branch, because good deeds branch and come out from it. And that's why it is no surprise that Ramadan, which is the month of good deeds, comes straight after Sha'ban. Sha'ban is the eighth month of the Islamic calendar, which makes Ramadan, of course, the ninth month. The Prophet Muhammad used to fast a lot in Sha'ban, so we should do the same. So if you were sick during last Ramadan and you weren't able to fast for two days, then you can fast those two days in Sha'ban. And you know something? It's nearly time for Maghrib. I better go get ready to break my fast. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Learning with Zaki. Assalamu alaikum, children. I am so happy to have you here. Giving sadaqah is an important part of being a good Muslim. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam loved giving sadaqah. He said, every good deed is a charity. Verily, it is a good deed to meet your brother with a cheerful face and to pour what is left from your bucket into the bowl of your brother. This means that charity is more than just helping the poor. Being kind and friendly to all the people you meet is a form of sadaka. And when you are feeling happy and energetic, you should share that good feeling with everyone around you. The Prophet ﷺ also said, The one who cares for an orphan and myself will be together in paradise like this and he held his two fingers close together to show what he meant. Our Prophet ﷺ tells us that caring for orphans is a great form of sadaqah. It is so great that it will lead us to Jannah to stand right beside our Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. Subhanallah, what an amazing blessing that would be! By remembering these simple lessons, we can give sadaqah just like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. Until next time insha'Allah, assalamu alaykum. Alhamdulillah, I have a house. Alhamdulillah, it has a roof. Alhamdulillah, it keeps us safe. Alhamdulillah, with lots of room. Alhamdulillah, I take a bath. Alhamdulillah, I take a rest. Alhamdulillah, we play some games. Alhamdulillah, Allah's the best. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, thank you, Allah. I have a house. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, thank you, Allah, for everything else. Alhamdulillah, thank you Allah, Alhamdulillah, for everything, Alhamdulillah, you are so kind, Alhamdulillah, all the time, Alhamdulillah, you give so much, Alhamdulillah, and never stop, Alhamdulillah, thank you so much, Alhamdulillah, for everything, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, thank you Allah, I have a house, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, thank you Allah, for everything else. Alhamdulillah for every breath Alhamdulillah and for our lives Alhamdulillah you give us food Alhamdulillah all the time Alhamdulillah you give us rain Alhamdulillah so we can drink Alhamdulillah and wash our clothes Alhamdulillah so we are clean Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah thank you Allah I have my health Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah thank you Allah for everything else 
Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah. Alhamdulillah. For everything. Alhamdulillah. You are so kind. Alhamdulillah. All the time. Alhamdulillah. You give so much. Alhamdulillah. And never stop. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. For everything. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah. I have my health. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for everything else. Alhamdulillah for everything. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me another day to worship you. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me water to drink and make wudu. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me clothes to keep me warm and covered. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me food to eat when I am hungry. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me a house to live and be safe in. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, I have a house. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for everything else. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me eyes to see your beautiful creations. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me ears to hear the birds sing. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me a nose to smell beautiful flowers. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for giving me a tongue to recite the Quran. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, I have a house. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for everything else. Fasting during the month of Ramadan is the fourth pillar of Islam. Muslims who are old enough should fast in this month. If you're young, you can have a go at fasting as well. The Arabic word for fasting is Siyam. And the word Siyam means to avoid and keep away from something. Because when we are fasting, we avoid eating and drinking and keep away from doing anything bad. This helps you become a better Muslim. Did you know that there's a great reward for those who fast? No? Well, let me tell you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, everything a person does is for him, except for fasting. Fasting is for me, and I shall give the reward for it. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jannah has a special door called Ar-Rayyan. Ar-Rayyan is the door through which everyone who has fasted will enter on the day of judgment. So if you fast Ramadan every year, then insha'Allah, you will be allowed to enter through this door. As you can see, fasting isn't just about keeping away from food and drink, but it's a chance to enter paradise. Subhanallah, how merciful is Allah. I hope you all have a fun and blessed Ramadan. Amen. I remember Allah. Alhamdulillah. I remember Allah. Subhanallah. I remember Allah. We remember Allah. With Zaki. As Muslims, we must try to remember Allah in everything that we do, especially during the blessed month of Ramadan. Making dua after worshipping Allah is something that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa taught us. Prophet Muhammad 
صلى الله عليه وسلم would say Bismillah before breaking his fast with dates or water. And he would say this special dua while breaking his fast. ذهب الظماء وابتلت العروق وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله Which means the thirst has gone and the veins are quenched and the reward is confirmed if Allah wills. By saying this dua after breaking our fast, we are giving thanks to Allah for all the wonderful things He has blessed us with. What an easy dua to remember. Then you can enjoy all the yummy food mummy or daddy has made and be rewarded by Allah at the same time. Alhamdulillah, what a lovely way to remember Allah. Oh, that's the Adam for Maghrib. It's time for me to break my fast. See you next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. We remember Allah with Zaki. Let's now count how many dates are on the plate, but this time in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. There are ten dates on the plate. Alhamdulillah. That means that ten people can break their fast together. The word for breaking your fast in Arabic is iftar. Ten is also a special number during Ramadan. The last ten nights of Ramadan are the best nights of the entire year because they contain an amazing night and that night is Laylatul Qadr. This night is so special because it's the night in which Allah sent down the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah has told us that if you worship him during this night, he will reward you more than 1000 months worth of worship. Subhanallah. How generous is Allah? So try your best to make the most of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. I want to go to Jannah. I want to go there too. Insha'Allah we go to Jannah May Allah allow us to There are rivers of honey Fruit tasty and nice Whatever I wish for It will be mine No more bad things Just the happiest times Forever and ever No limit of time I want to go to Jannah I want to go there too Insha'Allah we go to Jannah May Allah allow us to Assalamu alaikum is what I'll say to you Wa alaikum wassalam and I'll say that to you Let's work hard for Jannah So Allah will be pleased And He will let us enter With lots and lots of ease I want to go to Jannah I want to go there too Insha'Allah we go to Jannah May Allah allow us to May Allah in Jannah, in Jannah, I want to see Allah's beautiful face. In Jannah, I want to meet Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and have lunch with him. In Jannah, I want to drink from all the yummy rivers. 
In Jannah, I want to eat all the yummy fruits. In Jannah, I can't wait to see my beautiful house. In Jannah, I want to play in all the wonderful gardens. Allah Almighty has said, I have prepared for my righteous servants what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no heart has conceived. I ask Allah Almighty that He accepts all our good work, forgives us for our sins, and enters us all into Jannah. I mean, this where I wanna be. I just can't wait for heaven. It's the place that we long to be. Rivers of honey and all you desire for eternity. That's where I wanna be. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Assalamu alaikum.